A few weeks ago, I found a, a, a post under a YouTube video. I forgot what the video was, but underneath it, the, a person wrote something that it described, and the, it, oh my God, it was, you could really feel that they were in pain, they were in frustration about how their life was going. And so I want to show you word for word what this person posted underneath this video. They said, I feel as though God does not want me to succeed in life. After graduating college, I've applied to so many jobs and I'm still jobless. I feel like I've wasted four years of my life earning my biology degree and all I have is debt to show for it. I even went back to school for radiology technology and couldn't finish because of my grades and family issues. I live with a 78-year-old cancer patient and a handicapped teenager who can't do anything themselves. I'm their primary caregiver and I'm only 25 years old. I almost feel as though God wants me to be stuck in a rut. I study so hard in my RT program, because that's the radiology technology, and, and my grades don't even show for it. I just feel like I'm constantly knocked down. I'm tired of putting up a fight for everything in life. I'm tired of being optimistic and prayerful in hopes that God will move. If he really wanted to, he would have moved. People say if you work hard and trust in God, then God will make a way for you. If that is true, then there would be many more working, hardworking Christians who be millionaires and well off. I honestly believe that God doesn't care. After graduating college, I took the praxis three times, which is the test that teachers take when people are trying to become school teachers. I took the praxis three times to become a teacher. I failed it all three times. So I decided to go back to school for radiolo radiologic technology. Two weeks into the program, my grades started dropping. I kept failing my exams after studying weeks prior to the exam dates and going to tutoring. God doesn't care for me. Wow. If he cared, he would have moved on my behalf. After all, God helps those who help themselves, right? Well, I helped myself, and God didn't help me one bit. I even tried working at Walmart, and they ended up letting me go because they couldn't work with my school schedule. At this point, I'm so blank tired of struggling Oh yeah, dude, this one just went all the way downhill, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just took out the word because they said it. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the YouTube post, they said it. <laughs> I'm so blank tired of struggling and fighting for everything. Oh, me of little faith. But what's the point of having faith if nothing good comes from it? I'm tired of praying. I'm tired of trying and putting up a fight. I'm just done with it all. Right now, I feel like I understand why people don't believe in God or just completely abandon Christianity. I also understand why people commit suicide. Life hands you lemons. You try to make lemonade, but you realize you've had rotten lemons the whole time, so there is no use in making lemonade after all. Wow. Well, today I want to equip our families from a biblically grounded understanding about trials, temptations, faith, and prayer. Because if we'll be honest, many of us have felt in some way or another the way this person just described. If we'll be totally honest, as I mentioned earlier, uh, many believers are falling, walking away from the faith falling there we are experiencing the great falling away that the Bible said and I can guarantee you that most of the reasons are what this person has described in their life and uh, I love taking on the challenge of these types of situations I did not respond to this person by posting trying to post an answer because what I need to say cannot be solved 
by a quick uh, two or three lines. This is the kind of teaching that a person has to have that requires that you get into the scriptures, that you study the word of God line upon line, precept upon precept. The problem with this Facebook, Twitter, quick post world is that we have raised a generation, and this person is only 25 years old, and that's what I mean when I say raise a generation, who still thinks that they can get quick answers to solve problems. Uh, we have this mentality that is very much like the pharmaceuticals that are put out. You see the commercials, I know you guys have seen the commercials where they say if you have this symptom, this symptom, this symptom, and this symptom, just take this. Oh, and by the way, we've got this list of 50 side effects, some of which will kill you, but you'll get this problem solved. <laughs> and what has happened is many people have taken the quick pill and now like this person, they're dealing with the side effects and then they're blaming God for their side effects. Wisdom, the Bible says, is walking through the streets, through the streets, screaming, saying, listen to me, you simple ones, listen to me. If you don't listen to me now, when the day of your calamity hits, you'll be trying to find me and you won't find me. It'll be as if though I'm laughing at your calamity. That's why people are where this person is. Some of my questions, if I, had, if I had responded, but I couldn't. It was just, cause it's just too much, too deep to try to get into. This is where basically the answer would have had to start it off with, first of all, you need to go, to go to church and go to a sound biblically teaching place so they can show you how you got to where you are. Because you must learn how to stop living by phrases from the world. This person quoted many phrases from the world. People say that if you work hard, that ain't what the Bible says. People say. So you've been living your life according to what people say and look at where it got you. But you mad at God, but you, but you can't, this person can't see it. You listen to the people and you tried to do what the people said. I'd have to go back to such things as, did God tell you to even go for a degree in biology? Or was that just a pursuit for money? Why did you go into that major? And when it failed, when you couldn't find a job in there, did God say go for radiology? Or did you go after that because something else failed? And the reason why I'm saying this is because many believers are right here. This didn't work, so they go for that. That don't work, so they go for this. And never once do they stop and say, God, what do you want? What do you want me to do with my life? Because I've been told that you have to work hard. And if I work hard, you gonna help me. And many people are discovering, many believers are discovering, you can work as hard as you want. If it ain't what God got for you, he ain't helping you. What? Pastor Chris, what do you mean God ain't going to help me? God is not going to help you in disobedience. That's the reason why the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. Obviously, this person has made many sacrifices. So why isn't it happening? Is it obedience? That's why a lot of believers are mad. They have made sacrifices for years. But the God don't look at sacrifices. God looks at obedience. Is this, is this what I told you to do? Is this the direction that I ordered for your life?